Hey, what's up, Explainers? Super excited to have you back. Today, we're going to start with a really exciting list of challenges. And we're starting with the five star challenges right over here. So I hope you've been part of the previous videos where we tackled all the one star, two star, three star and four star challenges. And today we're going to start with the five star ones. And the first one that I want to show you is the change Bender's password challenge. So obviously this has five stars and the description says that we have to change Bender's password into Slurm Classic without using SQL injection or forgot password. And this falls in the broken authentication category. So as we see over here that we have to make use of a specific string, the first thing I'm going to do is copy that. So I'm copying Slurm Classic and having another look at that, it says that we have to change Bendis password. So not anybody else's, but specifically Bendis. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log in with Bender. I'm going to log in over here and Bender's email address is Bender at juice minus sh.op and I'm going to log in with an apostrophe character over here minus minus and I'm going to use any random password and I'm going to log in and as you can see we've successfully solved the challenge but wait a minute this is obviously a different challenge so if you have no idea what just happened make sure to check out this challenge first I'm going to link you the video in the top right corner where I have recorded for you what happened right now. But as we're locked in with Bender right now, we can go ahead, click on account and go to privacy and security and click on change password. Once we do have this field over here, we go to current password ASDF, new password ASDF and repeat ASDF. But what we see is we can't really click the button because there's a client side control in place telling us that the password has to be between 5 and 20 characters long. So what I'm going to do is I'm adding another character down below here and now, now they actually don't match. So I'm going to repeat that and see if they match now. Nope. Obviously this is another client side control so you gotta make sure that the passwords you put down are equal seems like I am not able to do that, but now I can. Perfect. So I'm going to change the password. And we don't really see any reaction by the web app. But as a smart hacker, I have obviously been using Burp Suite running in the background. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm using the latest request and I'm clicking on Control R to send this to the repeater. And then I'm just clicking on control space to send this again to the web server. So what we do see over here is that we were getting a 401 unauthorized response. And now we can start playing around with the parameters. So as the client side control controls are not really important over here anymore because we've passed the client side, we can do whatever we want. We can say, what if I put down a long string in here? And I click on send. And now it tells me new and repeated password do not match. So what we see over here right now is that we do get different responses. And now an idea would be, for example, to get rid of the repeat password. So let's see what happens if I get rid of the repeat parameter. And I'm going to send this again to the web server and it tells me that the new and repeated passwords do not match. So not much. What happens if I am getting rid of the current password? So that would be a really good idea. If we don't have a current password, what happens if we just remove the entire parameter? I'm going to do that right now. Send this to the web server. And it tells me that the new and repeated passwords do not match. All right, so what if we do match them right now? Let's just say ASDF. And I'm using ASDF over here as well. And we're going to send this to the web server. And this is an interesting response over here. So what we are seeing is we're not getting any further error messages. Instead, we're getting a 200 OK response with a lot of data that apparently belongs to Benda. And we do see a password hash and a couple of other things. So it kind of seems like we were able to change Benda's password. 
So what we can do right now is we can go ahead and try to use the password that was part of the challenges description, which is Slurm Classic. And I'm going to exchange both my ASDFs with Slurm Classic. And then I'm going to send this once again to the server. And we do see again a 200 OK response. And going back to Burb, we do see that we've successfully solved the challenge, change Bender's password. So that was it. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm super excited to guide you through all the five star challenges in the upcoming videos. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like this video. And with that, see you again next time.